Hello and welcome to Across the Obelisk. Across the Obelisk is a co-op RPG deck building roguelite. Play solo or with your friends, choose your heroes, unlock items and cards, craft your deck and face powerful enemies in deep tactical combat. Would you dare to go across the obelisk? Well, let's find out. Right, we're going to jump in, we're going to click play. Here we go. Straight into adventure mode here. All these are locked at the minute. Oh, what did that say then? Go back. Play. Unveil the history of Senathea. Discover new characters, unlock cards, and fight evil bosses in this roguelite adventure. There we go. Let's create a new game. Right, so we've looks like we've only got these four guys unlocked at the minute. We've got Magnus, we've got Andrew, and we've got Evelyn, and we've got Reginald. So we've got all these extra guys as well, which we could uh, unlock along the way. Let's um, see what these are. So there's all his stats. Uh, he's, a, he's a veteran warrior who fought bravely in the Wolf Wars. Okay, we've got the scout here. He's the youngest and the most rebellious. Uh, we've got Evelyn. Evelyn grew up in the court of Senathea and soon became the court mage's apprentice. And we've got Reginald. Reginald is the eldest and he spent his youth traveling and healing wherever he was needed. Right, so we've got begin our adventure. Track the characters that you want to use in the game. Some attack and can only target front, back or middle. Okay, let's begin our adventure. It all started on the princess's 16th birthday. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synanthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle but found no sign of her, or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost, deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. Here we go, we're at the game map. We've got our adventurers over here on the left, Magnus and his crew. We're starting down here in the tavern. So our first click here is the town. The faster you finish the fight, the better the rewards. Okay, we're going to click on our first click here, which is the town. Uh, I've had a little game of this before, so I kind of know what's going on. Uh, you've got the magic forge over here. Oh, sorry, magic forge, where you can craft cards for your deck. This is your deck here. This is Magnus's. And then we've got all these other decks. And what you can do, you can spend these crystals here, or shards they're called, to put new cards into your deck. Uh, we've only got 300 at the minute, so we haven't got that much. But what happens at the end of each run is you get the option to take your cards. Oh, sorry, sorry, the money you've earned, the money in the shards, and you can put that into your bank so you can spend more and more each time. Right, so we've got the church. This is where we can remove a card from your deck if you don't like, let's say, using the fast strike. Uh, you can just take one of those out. It costs gold at the minute. Um, I'm just wondering what this is. Minimum number of cards in a deck. So you've got to have 15 in your deck so we can't take any others out. Okay, that's interesting. So it's the first run. We've got this altar. This is where you can upgrade cards. So let's say we click on Magnus's fast strike card here. We can make it there. So that's the cost of the cards. You, you get three or four energy points per turn. Uh, so this upgrade here will make it zero, but it will also take down the actual attack level. Or we could upgrade it here and make it stronger. 
So we'll spend 60 shards here. We'll make that one stronger. There we go. You can see there that fast strike's upgraded. Let's have a quick look at Andrin's here. A slice. Let's see what a slice upgrade is. Take it up to nine plus one mark. Okay. Mark is damage taken. Prevents stealth charge. Remove stealth. Uh, I'll leave that one for now. I'm going to have a look at his aim shot though. Aim shot there, so you can re reduce the cost, or you can up the the damage. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna buy one of them. Always good to have some damage in there. And you've got Evelyn, who is the the wizard, who's the the magician in the crew. Uh, and then you've got Reginald, who's the healer. And I found that it's always handy to have some good healing in your crew. So uh, we can reduce the cost there. Sixty. So I could do all those three there and make them cost one less. That might be an idea. Yeah, go on. Let's do that. Upgrade that card. That one. And then that one. Okay, let's exit. Right, we've got the armory here where you can spend some money and get some items for your, for your characters, for your heroes. So you've got some slots here. You've got the weapon slot. You've got the armor. You've got the ring, you've got some potions, and you've got a pet slot there. So you can see there, Magnus has already got a random hero gains one card. Or oh, we could make his damage. I think we should go for his damage. Yeah, let's up Magnus's damage. Okay, we've got a fiery one there as well, which is quite cool. Heal done, which might be quite handy for Reginald. Let's see whether... There we go, I think I like that one. Right, we spent most of our money. We've got some here. No, we can't. We can't even afford any others now. There we go. Okay. And then we've got the Zagarian cart. If you have enough money, the, Z the Zagara will grant you a divination card round. I'm not sure what that is. I've never used them yet. In a multiplayer game, everyone will benefit from this divination round. Maybe we can have a look at that one then. Okay. Town upgrades. I don't think we can do any of them. These uh, supply boxes you pick up along the way. And then you can spend these on the upgrades here. Which are pretty powerful. But they stay. Stay with you throughout the game. So it's always good to have those. Right, we're going to click ready. And we're going to jump in. So we've got three directions we can go here. You can see on the path along here. You can see which ways you can take. I think I'm going to go down here and see this small lake which is an epic event so let's click on this carriage trail and see what's going on there we go straight into a battle right so this green here shows it's uh it's andrin's turn and you can see here the the actual the order in which they'll go so you'll get um you'll get magnus going next and then you're going to get these what are they call wild boars so you've got three of those. So this number is like initiative. It's their speed. I think it's called speed in this, this game. So you've got these other two characters, Evelyn and Reginald, who are quite slow. So they go behind the balls. So first of all, what we've got, we've got over here on the right. This is how many uh, energy we have to spend. And then we've got the cards and that shows how much each card costs. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to deal some damage here. We're going to go for an aim shot. When you hover over the card, it actually shows you how much damage it's going to do on the balls, which is very handy. So you can just go across there and say, right, that one's 18. So that's our upgraded card. So we're going to use that one. Underneath there, underneath the actual name of the card, it shows monster. Some of them show front monster only. So this one, you can actually pick the card up. And select which monster. So I'm going to go for the first one. Uh, you can see up there uh, the order as you hover over which one it is. I'm going to click this one. Let's do 18 damage. That's good. Right, we've got two left. We've got two power left. I'm going to hover over. Uh, I'm going to go for another aim shot, which will take off another 15 there, which is good. There we go. So he's right down now to 15 health. And then we've got no more energy left. So I'm going to click end turn. And it's going to be Magnus's go. Right. Well, we got them, Magnus. I'm fine with Magnus. He's, he's got a lot of front monster damage. 
uh, which is okay in these battles, but once you've got like an enemy at the back who can cast spells to summon additional enemies, it's, it's quite annoying because it's quite difficult to get the back person as a front monster for Magnus to attack. So, okay, let's see what we've got. We've got Defend, which is going to put... We've got Hero. So that one's a free one where it says zero. So what I could do, I could go and spend that on there. And it just gives him five shield. And that doesn't use up any energy. Okay, right. We're going to got we've got some defense there. I might go for two strikes here on the first one. So it's a front monster, so you can't select. You just go drop it. Front monster, there you go. He's got seven left. So if I just do one more of them, I'm going to take him out. Right, um, we've got two power left, two energy left. I'm going to put a shield on us there. So we've got 14 shield. I'm just going to just go to the settings one second. I think it actually saves your game. Oh, don't want credits. Uh, let's do that. Exit and play. Straight back into the game. We should go straight back to the battle where we're up to. Yeah, brilliant. Right, so we have Magnus. Oh no, it didn't use the cards. All right then, so let's do that one on him. Uh, let's do a defense on yourself. So we've got 14 defense. And we've got three power here. I don't want to use another defense. So if I use these two cards, I'll have one left over. But you can end turn and that one will get saved for his next go, which is quite good. So I'm going to slice or fast strike one there and then this one to get rid of him there we go he's gone right i'm going to save that one i don't think they're going to get through 14 and because that's a self card i can't apply that to any of the others we'll put that one back and we'll end our turn and it's going to be one of the wild boars so their attacks go through quite quick so you have to kind of get used to uh, seeing what's going on so there we go deal three damage three times that's just gone to three random people. Deal three damage, same again. There we go. So he was okay, but these two took some damage. Right, we've got Evelyn now. We've got some free, free charges here. So let's hover over. Cold Spark to so deal. X Frost or Chill. And X Spark. So what X? X is equal to your hand times 0.5. So we're going to do that one. Because it's free. And we want it to times as many cards as we've got. So I'm going to drop that one on the first one there. Take him out. So we've got over... We've got some zeros here. So I can do them. Let's keep attacking the front one. There we go. And then we've got four left. We've got this grant one here. Which will energise the person that I do it on. And seeing as how Reginald's next. I'm going to energise Reg Reginald. And that'll give him... If you just look underneath here, that should give him an extra, extra couple of um, couple of energy. Right, we're going to hit the the boar with this one. Deal that damage, going right down there. We've got some uh, modifiers under here. We've got some cold resistance. We've got some lightning spark. So we're going to end our turn, and now it's Reginald. So he's got six energy here, so we can do a lot of damage. This one's quite handy when you're and you want to see what cards they've got. They've got none at the minute because we're not in that round. We're just at the end of round one here and we're going into round two. But if I put this one for free on this back ball, we'll see what cards he's got. Right, so we've got six. I can do most of the stuff here. I can get rid of the front one at least. Hero health. I could do with... I could do that on Evelyn actually. Give her six health. So you can see what, what they're going to get. It's only showing one and zero there because they can't get any more than, than what they have. But Evelyn, you're going to have six health. There you go, get you back up to full. Right, we've got some damage to do. So we're going to do the Holy Smite. I'm going to drop that one on that wall. And we're going to drop the Flash. And we're going to get rid of it. There we go. So in round two there, you can see uh, we've got Andrin, and then we've got Magnus to go before the boss, so we should be able to take him out. But I'm going to pop some lock and shield on him for next round, just in case. 
Okay, and I'm going to save that last one. Well, we could actually do that. I'll do it on uh, Evelyn. That's what this shield shows here. Uh, that should be their shield for the next round. This one should disappear. There you go. And they get the shield for the next round. So you can prepare them for the next round, which is quite good. Right, so Andrin's up. Got Deflect here. So we can put some Force Shield on ourselves and draw another card. An aim Shot, so there we go, that's quite good. So he's got some Shield, so we're doing alright. I'm going to give him an Aim Shot. There we go, we've got some... I've only got one power left, actually. I could suffer some Fatigue. Gain one less energy at the start of the next turn, but seems that we can carry it over, it doesn't really matter, so I'm going to drop that one. We're going to get two more here. So I'm going to do two slices. Okay, I'm not going to use it. I could actually use this one. This this one allows us to look at the... I can, I'm going to select the next person. So I'm going to select Magnus. And I could go. Right, I don't really want two defends on myself. So I'm going to get rid of one of them. Uh, apply slow. Possibly quite good. Uh, it's only going to slow him down twice though. It's not going to allow Evelyn to get in front of him, so I'm going to get rid of that one. That one's a free move. That one's okay. Uh, but allows him to attack, and he, he's got some bleed. So I'm, I, I'll get rid of that one. Confirm that. So at least then on Magnus's go, it's got rid of all those cards we didn't want. Uh, so we've got one turn. We've got no cards left, so we're going to end there. Right, we've got four energy for Magnus. And he's only got 17 health, so we should. Let's have a flick through the cards. There we go. We've got 10 strike there. We've got an 8. So an 8 should kill him. Let's put that one out. There we go. He's gone. Victory. There we go. So once we've won one around, we can pick some new cards for our decks. Or we could choose to have some shards. So we'll have a look at here. Steel skin. Gain some, uh, we've got a pummel there, which is quite good deal. 18 damage. And apply some crack. Uh, which will be to their armor. Right, that one. Change weapon. No, I'm going to go pummel there. Select that one. Burning shot is three. That's quite high costing. Rupture, deal. Yeah, and apply two bleed and slow them down as well. I'm going to get rupture. See, the, the actual colour of the uh, the card shows how rare it is as well. Um, what else have we got? We've got the Ice Lance. We've got Ignite. So for two, that's quite low damage, but it is free. Boss Blast. Let's do that one. And then for Reginald, the Sacred Bolt's quite powerful. I think I'm going to do that one. There we go. Right, so we've moved along the path. We've moved to this uh, small lake, which is an epic event. So let's have a look at this. Morning at the lake. Following the carriage trail, you arrive at Lake Senathea. Usually the lake is always crowded with locals who fish, trade or perform daily activities. But today it seems as though no one is around. So it is not often that you can explore the lake thoroughly without being disturbed. You can also fish or search for magic shards. This morning, the lake is all yours. So we've got some options here we can leave. Don't waste any more time. We can look around for something unusual. Unusual. Or we can do these uh, more profitable tasks here. You can take your time and try to fish for something. But in order to, to successfully do this one, we've got to draw a card from each hero and add up to five or lower. And the success probability of that is 79%, which is quite good. Or you could look around for some magic shards, which we could do with. So that'll be 79% again. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one. See what happens here. So we can see the heroes in the cards. One, two, oh, we failed. You spent a while trying to fish, but with no luck. So you leave. So we got nothing there. Very good. Okay, which way should we go? We've got a um, we've got a map legend here. If you hover down here, we can see what's what's coming up. So we've got a character there. Look, we've got a character here as well. Character event. I'm gonna go for this one. So I'm gonna go this way. 
Come on, we've got a battle here straight up. Oh, there we go. So we've got some obelisk corruption. This will give us a challenge, which makes things harder. So all monsters will do some more damage and they have higher resistance against our, our attacks. Um, if we complete that challenge, the party will heal 30%. Or Reginald will get Divine Insight card for free, which is a very high costing card. Uh, I'm not going to do that challenge because it says it's it's average, but it's definitely not easy. So I'll leave that one and I'll just go for the standard standard battle. Right, we've got two boars and we've got two crazy sheep. Right, here's the order. So we've got An Andrin and Magnus already up front and then we've got all of their monsters so let's see what we've got uh hop across here we've got 15 yeah deflect i can do that one that'll gain me uh some uh some shield there and we get a new card so we can get two we can gain there as well so i'm gonna do that one so we've got six energy now so i'm gonna go for it on the first monster there we go, let's take him out. And we've got two left, and we'll deal a slice and another slice. So he's right down now as well. Uh, so if Magnus can get a hit on him, he should be gone. Ooh, lots of defense here. I need a strike. That one's the cheapest one. I'm going to do that one. Get rid of him. This one gives us nine shield for all the heroes, which is quite good. I'm going to do that one. Here we go. So we've got some shield across there across the board and then we've just got some defend I could give him no I don't know um go on give him one more so he's got loads now so we should be safe here we go here's the ball deal three random okay what's next we've got deal oh no that was right across the board deal five on the repeat uh, against Magnus there we go that wasn't too bad Okay, right, Evelyn's up. Let's throw some fire. We're going to go for the first one again. Throw some fire at the first one. And then what we've got here, we've got four energy. I think I'm going to go for two frost bolts on the first sheep. Put the energy right down. And that's Evelyn done. Right, Reginald, can we do some healing? You need some healing yourself. So we've got some nice cheap heals here. We upgraded those cards in the house, in, in the village, or the town, because that used to cost two. So we've got four energy there. I'm going to throw one on yourself, which is handy. And we're going to do a sacred bolt. There we go, it's taking him out, and then we'll do a flash on the boar. And then next up, round two, and we're back to Andrin. Okay, so rupture. We've got 15 there. That slows them down though. That slows them down by two. Uh, so if we slow that sheep down by two, it's still going to be faster. So I'm going to leave that one. Okay, we can draw another card and get some shield. Got a couple of slices there. Right, aim shot. There we go. And is that it? We'll have a quick look at uh, Magnus's cards here. Right, we need a lot of strikes here. We don't need two. We don't need two of those. They're quite handy. Uh, I'm only going to have one though. We need some strikes. Right, end turn. And we're up. Magnus. Fast strike there. Uh, okay, so we've only got three. That one's free. Um, go on, I'm going to defend yourself. I'm going to put the free one on Evelyn. And then I'm going to do two. And one more. Oh, I can just about kill the boar. He's gone. All right, end turn. We've only got the sheep now. Right, sheep, what have you got? Deal 10. Okay, survive that. Nice. Right, we've got some health here. Uh, sorry, we've got some damage to do now. Right, Frostbolt, we've only got three. There you go off that. Free Fire Blast. Free Cold Spark. And we'll save one energy for next time. Reginald's up. Okay, anyone need healing? This one costs one. 
Uh, I think it's only Magnus. To be honest with you, Magnus, you can have it. Everyone's high up now, because we've got we've got Reginald, we've got Andrin, we've got Magnus up next. And he's only got 28. So let's give him a holy smite. 14. He's right down to 14 now. So let's end our turn. Andrin's up. Right, there we go. That'll wipe him out. There's no other bits and pieces there we can do. We've got full health. We've completed it in round three. If you complete it faster, you actually get a uh, better better rewards there. See, so if you complete it in round one, which is very unlikely, you're going to get 50% more gold, 50% more experience, and then higher tier cards at the end as well. So we're going to do the aim shot anyway. Take out the, the sheep. There we go. We've got a victory. And we've unlocked some more cards. So let's see what we've got for Magnus. We've got a fast strike. We've got a re uh, repair armor. And we've got a deal. Uh, Grunt monster hero. Um, What does this one do? This spells anything again. I'll just get the fast... No, I'm actually going to choose shards for this. I'll choose shards. Let's see what we've got for Andrin. We've got poison darts there. We've got some... That one's free. I like that one. But you get seven shields and then you get seven block as well, which is quite good. Uh, zap. Grant. So deal. Deal some dark. Uh, I'll go for the free one. And then for Reginald. Sacred Bolt again. We've got Infuse Courage or we've got Suffer. What does this one do? It's a free fire. Go on, I'll get one of them. There we go. Right, there we go. So we've got Riverside Camp next time. But what, what we're going to do, we're going to end the video there. And that was across the obelisk. And we're going through our quest here. So we hope you enjoyed that video. And join us next time for another episode. Catch you next time. Bye for now. Bye.